All right, cost of living in Langley, British Columbia. In this video, I'm gonna cover the cost of housing, rent, goods and services here in Langley, British Columbia. So stick around, let's get into the video. I'm not Agent Kelly. I talk about Canadian real estate investing, my local market here of Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. If you get any value or entertainment from my videos, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and if you wanna chat about buying or selling real estate, you can do so by scrolling down into my description, clicking on the link I've provided for you, and booking yourself right into my calendar for a time to chat that's convenient for you. Now let's stop screwing around and let's get into this video. So, housing. Average cost of a detached home in Langley is 1.48 $4 million. Average cost of a townhome is 815,000 and the average cost of a condo is 567,000. Now just like any other city there are some more inexpensive areas and some more expensive areas so these are just average numbers across all of Langley. For example the cost of a detached home in Langley's downtown city core is only 1.14 million versus Willoughby where it's 1.433 million so a nearly a 300 grand difference difference uh, 10 minutes away from each other. And the cost of a condo in Langley City is 527,000 versus 616,000 in Willoughby. And these are just average prices. Like you could probably find a decently nice, you know, older 90s two bedroom condo in the mid 400,000s, I would think. Let's get into the rents now. Median one bed rent is 1818 per month. And this was, you know, probably like 1100 bucks just a few years ago. Median two bed rent is 2284 per month. And I've seen as high as 2800 bucks for a newer two bedroom in Willoughby, three beds, 3125, and four beds, 3600 a month. Again, depending on where you're renting in Langley City, it could be cheaper than this. Like uh, Willoughby Heights rent is very similar to Surrey Central, but Langley City rents are, you know, could be as high as 20% cheaper than Willoughby. So the median household income in Langley is apparently 90,000 bucks per year, which is higher than Surrey's income, at least higher than what I could find on the internet. And it may be because Surrey is home to uh, a lot of new immigrants into the country that are you know, taking a lot of the low, lower paying jobs. And maybe that overall brings down the average household income in Surrey. I'm honestly not too sure why it would be higher in Langley. I'm just taking a guess. And this equates to about 78,000 bucks after tax, which is 6,500 bucks a month. Meaning less than half of your after tax income is going to housing expenses, whether it be a mortgage, depending on what you buy or rent, which is actually pretty affordable in my opinion, because most other cities, at least west of Langley, uh, basically like 60% of your after-tax income is going towards rent. So uh, Langley's actually decently affordable. Costs of goods and services. So you guys know how I roll. I like to compare the city we're talking about to another city to get a good gauge of what the actual cost of goods and services are in a city. And today I'm choosing Calgary. A meal for two in Langley is 17% cheaper than it is in Calgary. And uh, act actually anything restaurant related is cheaper in Langley than it is in Calgary. And I'm guessing that's just because there's more people that live in Calgary, meaning more demand for restaurants, which pushes up the prices that restaurants can ask for the food. Milk, 20% cheaper in Langley. Rice, 25% more expensive. Eggs, 18% more expensive. Beef, 9% more expensive. Fruits and vegetables are all anywhere from 12 to 40% more expensive in Langley. Imported beer, for whatever reason, is 58% more expensive in Langley. Cigarettes are 5% cheaper in Calgary. Uh, you shouldn't be smoking anyways. And here's a big one. Gas is 25% cheaper in Calgary than it is in Langley. $1.62 per liter in Calgary versus Langley's $2.02. .02. This is obviously outdated. Gas prices have come down since whenever they did this, but I believe the percentage is probably likely the same. Utilities, 40% cheaper in Langley, and internet is 13% more expensive in Langley. So that's basically it. I know this is a short video, but there's your cost of living in Langley. Langley is still very affordable in my opinion. It's a blue collar city. Most of the people that live in Langley are doing trades jobs from what I know, and trades jobs pay pretty well. So uh, Langley overall, when you look at a price to income ratio is you know still relatively affordable when you can get into a condo for under $500,000. Decently nice condo at that and the household income is 90 grand on average obviously in comparison to calgary where you know the rent is cheaper the housing's cheaper most of the goods and services are cheaper and you don't pay pst and the gas is cheaper 
you know, Langley looks like an expensive place to live, but if you compare Langley to anywhere west of the Portman Bridge, Burnaby, Vancouver, Coquitlam, uh, Toronto, New York, San Francisco, any of those big metropolitan cities, Langley is going to look pretty affordable. Obviously, when you compare it to Calgary or in Edmonton, it looks expensive, but that's because we got the weather, man. We got that nice, mild weather that everybody wants. So anyways, there's your cost of living in Langley. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel. If you want to chat, book that call, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.